Louisiana will continue to win. We will win with Donald Trump. That was Louisiana Secretary of State Kyle Arduin publicly supporting President Donald Trump at a campaign rally last year for Eddie Responi. While most politicians do frequent many political events, Louisiana law prohibits the Secretary of State from participating or attending events outside of their own campaign. Those rules and regulations are in place for a reason. Uh, you have to be fair and unbiased uh, when you serve in that capacity. And obviously he's not uh, doing that. Uh, certainly uh, I saw some of the clips where he was participating in the fundraisers or rallies for Responi. And um, uh, I know that he should not have been doing that. I'm told that there's a complaint that is filed and certainly hope that uh, they would follow through on that. Uh, because if I have to follow the law, then he should follow the law. It's not questionable behavior, it's illegal behavior. Uh, on two different occasions, uh, the Secretary of State uh, just before the primary election in November and the runoff election in December appeared uh, at a uh, political rally for Eddie Responi uh, that uh, featured the President of the United States, Donald John Trump. Uh, according to the law, uh, because Kyle Ardwin holds the position of Secretary of State, the Secretary of State cannot be uh, a part of any kind of political rally in favor of any other candidate other than himself. Video of Secretary Arduin endorsing President Trump was posted to the Secretary's campaign Facebook page. It was soon deleted once the law was presented in response to his comments during the rally. Well, I think it's, it's terrible. Um, if we want to maintain the mantra that no man is above the law, we have to live by that. And I don't believe that anyone is above the law, not the President of the United States and not the Secretary of State. He should be held accountable for his actions. Uh, he should be uh, held accountable for, for his unethical behavior. Uh, and we should remain uh, vigilant uh, to make sure that that, that happens. Uh, we have to have people in place, especially the Secretary of State, who uphold the highest uh, level of ethics when it comes to our elections. So the last thing we need is a Secretary of State who openly and willingly breaks the law. Antoine Pierce, a candidate for the United States Senate, expressed his concern over the matter and how it could shape what is supposed to be a fair process. Uh, ignorance of the law is not justification for breaking it. So I think we have to uh, hold him accountable. The people have to hold him accountable. The ethics board has to hold him accountable and say, hey, look, we will not accept this. Uh, we will not have any candidate that's supposed to be in an apolitical position going out and, and uh, uh, campaigning for, for candidates uh, in any other seat. So uh, my, my uh, position is to hold him accountable, period. Fred Smith filed a complaint with the State Board of Ethics. He believes the matter is not being taken seriously. I uh, called him on it uh, because I know that it's illegal. Uh, and uh, I had a problem with the fact that nobody else seemed to care. As Secretary of State, Arduin is Louisiana's chief elections officer. This is not only a question of law, it's also a question of voter confidence. Oh, we're in, we're in great jeopardy, and I think more so for people who are willing to turn a blind eye to it because it fits their agenda, uh, and that even includes people in the electorate. So uh, if, if you, you're okay with it because your side does it, then that's problematic too, uh, because if, if, if he had been, uh, let's say, perhaps a Democratic uh, Secretary of State and he had done the same thing, would you hold him to the same standard, or would you say, no, it's okay? You know, it, it's fine. He, he, you know, he supports the person I like, so let's forget about it. No, I think we have to uphold the same standard, whether a Democrat, independent, Republican, whoever. So I think it, it puts our state in jeopardy when people are willing to uh, turn a blind eye to it because it, it, it matches their agenda. It fits their, their side of the political spectrum. No, we need to hold everybody to the same level of accountability. The law is designed to ensure integrity in the elections process, but when the chief elections officer is biased, it raises questions. It's the same as the judicial races uh, with the judges. They cannot campaign for anyone. Now, they can show up at an event, but they can't campaign uh, at an event. Uh, you certainly should not be in violation of the law. If you are going to be over elections, that says a lot. 
that says that we 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 probably don't have a fair process somewhere along the lines i would think that uh we need to look into that very very seriously uh we, as we look back and see how our elections have been tampered with uh from the president on down i i think that is something that we should be highly concerned with and as an elected official i'm i'm appalled uh that he would think that it's okay to do that it, it, it would be reassuring to me if the governor would at least make a statement that said uh, that I have concerns as governor of the state of Louisiana with Mr. Ardwin's behavior. And it would be helpful if uh, the powers that be, the, the appropriate office, uh, would, would investigate this matter. The law in question revised statute 1818-2 says the Secretary of State shall not participate or engage in any other political activity including the candidacy of any other person for election to public office. We made several attempts to reach out to Mr. Ardwin's press secretary Tyler Bray. So far we have not received a response. For Connections, I'm Kenyatta Collins.